Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 with our realistic series. And you go, right, that, that'll do right there. I'm going to leave it hitched on for a second. And we've got a little bit of tidy up work to do on this field. I do not regret buying this plow. This plow is awesome. And I'm also thinking, oh, you know I'm going to do it the other way around actually. I don't have to flip both plows. Uh, I'm. Why did you only do half of the length of the field it's because of those bits in the middle I'm gonna I can see I'm gonna have permanent trouble with this is why I'm seriously considering putting this field back to grass um, I'm not going to at the moment we'll leave it as it is at the moment um, I don't know how close I'm gonna get to those uh, electric poles that we've got over there let's bring you around like that Right, lower that one down and do this. So, yeah, do, doing small work, you wouldn't use the front mounted plow. Um, doing the edges of the field and stuff like that, you, you wouldn't actually do that in real life. You would uh, leave that one up, well, either up in the air or just leave it off and just use the back plow for doing the edges and the tidy up and the stuff like that. And then the front plow would go on for doing the the bulk of the land work um, so where really you just want to cover as many acres, hectares as you possibly can in as short a time as you can, that's when the front mounted plough would really come into its own and really help you to achieve your land coverage, but we're not worrying about that and yes, I know that it's not quite realistic for me to go and do that, but uh, I think you'll forgive me for a little bit of um, bending the rules slightly when it comes to absolute realism. Um, so this field here, I was actually thinking of putting this one into corn for silage because it's the closest one that we've got to this plant up here and I'm not sure that's going to be enough but also we do have at least one rare one event I know that each event is a 1 in 18 chance but there is one event where we lose half of a random field so there's a 1 in 18 chance of getting that but then I've only got uh, three well it'll be six fields I've only got six fields and so there is a chance that we may have to plow up half of one of the, you know, half the field of corn, which then is not going to leave us very much silage. So if I was to do that one as silage as well, it's nice and close. We, there's an entrance to the field right there. And I don't think we've got anything down here. So we'd come out there, down the road here, around, and then up the track up the side here. So it's not actually that far. So that's why I'm thinking this field would be good planted with corn ready for silage for the biogas plant. And that way we've got a guaranteed supply of digestate for making the stuff that we want to making the manure. And we also know, I did establish in some previous episodes, that we can go to the animal dealership and we can buy manure from the animal dealership. And if we can't, there are a number of mods where we can put a placeable down in order to do that. So we've got a supply of that to start with, even if we don't go for animals. The animals I am leaving up to the comments section. Um, if you want me to do animals, then let me know. Otherwise, um, I think I'm going to leave it that uh, we won't have very many animals at the moment, unless you specifically tell me that you'd like me to really go into any I don't mind which animal we go in for um we we can do any you like you know wh whatever it is that you want to see let me know and then and I, I I will work on that um but I think this field done as corn so if I'm going to do this one as corn I'm going to just to start off with also uh pig food here we go uh, it's not the uh, pistachios. Well, actually, we are probably going to want the pallet factory at some point. So, no, it's specific one that I'm looking for was the pig food right here. This is corn, sunflowers, and potatoes and water to make pig food. So, I'm not exactly sure what the quantities are, 
But I kind of do want to use the La Coronella um, base mods to start with. And then we can... Well, I probably won't use that one. Or that, well, I might do. We'll see. Um, and we, we can kind of use these to start off with to see whether or not we think that this is actually worth it. Okay, that's really weird, the bit that it's got underneath there. quite know what that's all about. But anyway... Um, so this is going to need corn, sunflowers, and potatoes. Of note, it doesn't require barley or wheat in order to get the, pe the, the pig food. And this is unusual because most pig food um, things do actually require barley or wheat. So we'll be able to use the barley and the wheat for something else. Um, so if we've got this one here, this is, this is 40 grand. Um, we can plonk this anywhere it doesn't really matter how much it uses because we can produce multiple ones of these but anyway that, that doesn't really matter we we need to be able to produce corn we need to be able to produce sunflowers and we need to be able to produce potatoes corn and sunflowers are both harvested with the same header on a combine and then we need potatoes which does make me wonder if I should go and buy the field up over there that's got potatoes planted already. That's going to save us having to plant potatoes. And then we've got some in order to be able to make a load of pig food. Um, I have a random event, uh, one random stored crop. Uh, we lose 25% of it or we have another random stored crop that uh, we have to sell straight to the... Uh, to the lowest point that we that the lowest uh, value immediately both of those if the if we've got individual ingredients in storage then yes that's a random stored crop but I'm not counting pig food in that because that's manufactured and made and also the pig food will just be in the pig food maker rather than anywhere else um, so we wouldn't have to worry once it's been made. However, we've got to turn the potatoes into it and there is a chance we could lose all those potatoes. So I'm, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do about uh, potatoes at the moment. But I was kind of thinking that maybe I should grow the crops needed in order to have pigs on the map. And the reason that I want to do that is just in case all of you turn around and say we want pigs on this map. Because if you do... I'm going to need to be producing pig food and uh, at least my starting off point for producing pig food will be using the mods that come with this map because uh, I'd like to sort of experience this map as the uh, creator kind of intended, I guess. Um, let's bring you on round here. So, yeah, he, he probably didn't intend for this field to be ploughed up and, and used for other things because this really is better suited as a grass field the, the, the it's got a hill in it it's got the the um the, the poles in the middle of the field as well uh, basically this field is just best suited as a um a grass field so uh, what i'm doing is, is probably slightly sacrilegious but well that's that's what's happening um so if I plant corn in here, I'm going to need to do sunflowers in one of the fields in order to have the food for the pigs, which means... Actually, sunflowers, um, they, they get planted in the spring as well. So sunflowers are here, corn is here. So we can do a load of planting in April. We've got sunflowers and corn that we can do in April. We'll already have potatoes if we go and buy that field. Um, well, they'll be in storage, which means that we're going to have to hold them in storage for a while. So there's a risk that we could lose them. Should be a bit of a shame if we did, but I'm hoping that we won't. But then, does any farmer does hope that they don't lose all their crops? Like it, it's a constant risk, isn't it? So, what else are we going to grow? I would say that uh, now I'm not actually sure what harvest chickpeas and lentils. Those are the two crops there. I don't know how we're supposed to harvest those, whether it's with the standard combine or not. So, first up, let's go and have a look in here, and I want to go to headers. Chickpeas and nettles. Right. And then that's the sunflower header, which is just sunflowers. So the chickpeas and lentils are with a standard header. The corn header here is, again, it's just corn and sunflowers. So there's nothing extra on there. So the chickpeas and the lentils we could put in 
there they are also all planted in the spring so that's planted in april i want a field of sunflowers and two fields of corn let's go up here right that the potatoes will be harvested if i get if i buy that field we'll harvest potatoes off of it despite me saying earlier that i didn't want to i might lease the potato harvester for that one um rather than buy it because i don't think that's the kind of money we want to be spending out so if i was to get that we've got corn there and we've got corn there we want one of these fields. we'll do field 24 as sunflowers then we do chickpeas lentils and that leaves us one more which i think we will do as ooh, let's have a look let's do some barley we'll do some barley in there so that means that we want to plant that next month and it's going to be the only field it's the only one that's going to be planted next month and i think that's going to be a good starting point i don't think we need to worry about getting any more than that we are going to need to get a forager and i'm at the moment thinking uh, we'd want to buy our own but i guess we'll just have to kind of see how much money we've got when we come to next year and wanting to actually get on and do that because uh, for owning a forager that's a lot of money it's a huge huge investment so we may not be quite in the place to do that so let's bring you down here now i've got some lime in storage it was pointed out to me uh, that i've got a bit of lime in storage and didn't turn the lights on there. Yeah. yeah. The lime that I've got in storage, I'm wondering what I should do about it. Well, actually, I'm wondering where it is, mostly. So I've got lime and fertilizer somewhere in storage. Now, I did notice some that was on some racking, so I don't know if that's kind of like a, a mod that you store it and it just shows up visibly on the racking, or if it's put in somewhere else so we'll have to have a little look around for that because i don't think it's in like the the seed master or fertilizer master or anything like that um let's get around there i got a little bit down the other end of the field to do this is getting a bit tedious this is although i do keep stopping and looking at stuff in the shop so it's probably my own fault it's we, we get this finished you know i don't actually need to finish this until the spring do i like, there is no rush to finish this field. I do want to get some lime put on the field. But I'm not actually in any position where I have to finish this field now. So, you know what? I'm just going to park that one up. And I'm going to leave it right there for a second. And we're going to go and do something else. Because uh, that, that, that's going to get dull if we do that for too long. Uh, what do we want to do then? So, we can, we can make silage here if we want to. But I don't really want to at the moment. Um, there were chickens potentially that we could keep down here so if we go and have a look at these right here 70 percent from standard grains and 30 percent from protein now the protein one that was the, the the other one from the shop I think this is it. This feed master right here. I think this is the protein one here. So we need cut sugar beet. We need barley, water, and then we need this oil as well. And that's what makes the protein. That one we definitely buy from the shop. And water we need to buy from a water tank. Wherever we might have a water tank. I don't know if we got one anywhere. I'm, I'm not quite sure where we'll find one of those. Uh, also, where's that seed thing there? Right, we've got that seed thing on farm, but that's a different one to what we've got here. I've got a thirty. Ma I've got a seed master here, but that's not. Oh wait, that's a seed master there. This is a fertilizer master. So, what's that then? Is this just a seed storage? Not quite sure what's going on there. Um. I can cut the sugar beet up to make my own uh, if I grow sugar beet. Question. I can buy some stuff from shops. Right? I can buy that there from the shop. And 
like the, the sugar beet, do you think that I should be growing my own or do you think I should buy it in? I did talk about this before, saying that I think that I can just buy stuff in because, I mean, that's what you do in the modern day farming. You just buy stuff in. But I'm curious if people want me to actually be buying things in or if you want me to uh, grow my own and produce all of my own stuff. Now, the other thing that I was going to look at was I just wanted a quick look in here. Uh, the seed master takes grain and a little bit of slurry in order to make our own seed. But I don't have any seed. Uh, uh, not seed, slurry. And I don't have a way to buy slurry either. We will actually have to have animals of our own in order to get slurry. We don't need a lot of it, but we, we would need to have animals of our own. Um, I'm just trying to decide if I want chickens. I'm going to get chickens. We've got some wheat and we've got some... Wait, that's oats. We can put wheat, oats, or sorghum in here for the chickens. Corral de polos. Polos would be chickens. All right, let's let's buy some let's let's buy some animals, shall we? Um, I'm gonna go. We we can get 120. So if I just get uh 60 chickens in here, like that, regular full-grown chickens. Okay. And I'm going to buy... I don't think we need 60 roosters. I'm going to get one rooster. It's going to go in there like that. Okay, because I always like to have the rooster in there as well. So you can see him there at the back. There he is. And that means that they will eventually reproduce and we will get the rest of the animals that we want in here as well. So we've got 2,500 litres that we can put in here. So now if we go to animals, health, so we've got grain and protein. It's the only two options that we've got in here. So the protein is going to have to wait. I can buy protein from the shop if I want to. Huh. I thought I could buy protein from the shop. Apparently I can't. I can buy vegetable seeds, hydraulic oil, copper sulfate, the New Holland spare parts, mineral palette right there. That's the, the oil for the, the mineral. But I can't buy the other... For the animals, which means that I might end up having to actually produce that, unless it's in... Alright, so the protein, I'm actually going to have to make it myself. We need to get some grain in here for these chickens, so I've got to be able to tip it in there. I think I've only got a turntable trailer, which is slightly inconvenient as far as I'm concerned, because trying to reverse it in there is going to be very very difficult so what i think i'm gonna do is i'm going to jump to what have we got i'm gonna jump to this tractor i'm gonna unhitch that trailer and i'm gonna leave it right where it is and we are going to drive down to the shop and we're gonna buy ourselves a little trailer and we're gonna start just speeding time up a little bit Go to like 15 times. Actually, let's not start speeding time up just yet because those chickens uh, need food. So we want to do that first. So if I, I only need a little trailer because they can only have two and a half thousand liters of food in there at one, any one time anyway. So like it, it's it's not like we're going. Oh no, it's on a little bit further. Um, yeah, it's not like that we're going to be needing to be putting thousands and thousands of litres of food in for the chickens. I think 120 is a good number because also if all one, if we get the vet bill, that's 100 per animal on our farm and um, that is potentially a large slice of money and 120 chickens is 12,000 euros that we're going to have to fork out for vet bills which is a lot of money to pay for chick that they're rare breeds. All right, don't 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 question it. We got the, the chickens are rare breeds. That's why um, the, the, they cost too much. I kind of want this dumper, this half pipe dumper. Never used that. Let's just randomly look at some of these trailers a minute. There's, ooh ooh, I know the trailer I want. There we go, Marshall. I don't know if anybody else is familiar with Marshall, but this is a brand that I have heard of a lot. So I'd, I'm not sure if it's based in the UK or not. It might be. It might not be. I wouldn't like to say one way or the other. I think it is. I think it is a UK-based company. So we've got no grain door. 
or with a little grain shoot on the back. Which, to be honest, if we're going to be using this one for doing the chickens, then that would be the kind of thing that we want. So wheel brand, we've got a, a couple of different options. The standard for a Marshall trailer is actually the, the wheels like that, or at least the, the ones that I've always seen. Um, but I guess we could go for something a little bit big. I'm not likely to be using this trailer in a field, though. So I, I'm thinking even though that would be better in yeah all right we'll go with that we we will go with the the well we've got uh trailborg michelin is very expensive continental is the the narrow oh wait narrow they got two lots of standards they're slightly wider actually i prefer those even though they're not um wider so they're not quite so uh, much with the flotation we've got colored mud flaps on the back no mud guards at all I must admit, having mud guards does seem a bit unusual. I don't remember seeing one of these trailers with mud guards on it, but I've not seen a brand new one, so that that's a bit different. We've got a ladder there. Oh, wait. Let's just go with the standard lighting. I see. Right. I'm going to go with one ladder on that side. We will put a beacon. The beacon would be on the back at the bottom, down there, like that. Parts configuration. Nope, I don't want that. Cover. And actually, I do think we will fork out the extra for the cover. I'll leave the number plate as it is. So we can buy that bad boy. 29,750 for our brand new Marshall trailer. And yes, I'm getting this one purely because it's one that I'm familiar with here in the UK. So this might not be suited to this map, which is appears to be based in um, Spain. But that's fine. Um... We don't have to do everything as though we are actually in Spain. We can chop and change a, a, a few of these things if we want to. So we'll run you around here. Actually, I meant to go up the track. I didn't actually mean to go this way. Now we, we're stuck going the, the long route. So we can have 18,000 litres of grain in this trailer. We don't need that much. But this is going to be a useful trailer for shunting stuff around the yard because we're going to be getting a few of these little machines for doing things with. So we're going to want to be able to move stuff around the yard and fill them up and uh, take goods out of them and move them around. So we needed a shunting trailer anyway, and I think that this one is going to be a rather nice little addition to the farm. So I'm going to go in this way here. And I need to find my grain store somewhere. Where do we have a grain store? It's... Oh, there's the... Right. Okay, so I got that one there. This is this is the Fertimaster. This one makes fertilizer. And then over this side, I've got... If we run over here, Toot Sweet. I've got that one down there, which is the... Seed master. So what's this? Uh, oh, right. I was wondering where it was. So this is where we've got our lime stored and seeds and solid fertilizer. It's all stored in here. Fantastic. Right. At least we know where that is now. Let's answer that little question. I did have also, if we run down this way... Um, there was some racking along the bottom end of this yard here, the one that we got the combine. Um, the bottom end of it, there was some racking down here that had... There, look, see, we've got some bags of stuff on here. Is that... That is actual bag... There's more bags of stuff there, so we can take these out and we can use them. There's two bags of fertilizer there. I'm going to say that those are organic fertilizer and because uh, i'm planning on making our own fertilizer and uh sort of using it like that so rather than having to spend ages applying uh, manure or slurry or anything like that to the fields we'll be doing it use uh, and this is the grain store over here 
um, we can still apply the fertilizer. So those two bags that we've already got on the farm, we will treat it as though those two bags are organic already. And I'm going to stick with the rest. And um, like I said, I'm, I'm going with organic farming. So uh, I've got, it said for the chickens, oats we can use. I've got 33,000 litres of oats in here. I kind of want to turn that into flour, though, because oats as flour is, like, you, you get a good return on that. Um, and also sorghum as well. Hmm. Let's dump some sorghum in for the chickens for now. I don't know how much money you get from this. I don't want to take any more than that. Now we see what this trailer is going to be like shunting around the yard, because I do need a trailer that we can manoeuvre well and fairly easily. Luckily for us, where we've got our... Alright. I say luckily for us. The thing that's not so lucky is having this thing stuck right in the way. Who planned that? If that one was over there, <laughs> it would be so much better. Because I need to be able to get the pallets out of here. And I've only got that little bit there that I can shunt up through. Or I can shunt up through that bit there. Um, that's going to end up making life difficult isn't it I can see what we can I, I can see what we're going to end up doing is we're just going to be going across the road and sort of shunting backwards into the bit there either that or we cut this tree down and we do a little bit down here so that we, we can do some more manoeuvring this way but I think if we can just bring that round there possibly this trailer is a little bit too big yeah, see, right here on this side, we're gonna. Well, I think we're gonna need to do something about that. We're gonna have to change that round. Um, although I do have, uh, I don't have to get in too tight for that, which is good. So I can start tipping that out, and that's already filled up. Jump out here a minute, and over there. Right, we have two and a half thousand liters of food in here. So let me just speed that up. We'll go to three sixty times speed a second, and and whiz that along. Now, why are they still got health on 0%? That concerns me, because the health on the animals should start to go up once you've got... Oh. Productivity is going up a little bit. That's all right. Even though the health is still saying 0%, the productivity did just tick up a bit. Maybe we do actually have to put the protein food in for them. The health, the productivity is at least coming up, but I don't like that the health is still on zero. I'm hoping that's just something that's slightly bugged. Be a mod conflict. I do have a slight problem with mods in that I've got like 3,000 of them, and you know, I'm just going to put the cover on this one and we'll leave for the release. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.